Body cam video sheds new light on a bizarre encounter right here between Ohio police and Rhode Island congressional candidate Michael Neary, who is seeking a to replace Congressman Jim Langevin in the state's second district. He was arrested last month in Ohio. Now, police pulled him over after he allegedly followed a couple he did not know for 60 miles. He was ultimately charged with stalking and possession of marijuana. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian watched all of the footage and joins us now with what she's learned. Kim? Well, the roughly hour-long video shows Neary, who has not dropped out of the race, repeatedly telling officers he's running for Congress in Rhode Island, mentioning Langevin and even Senator Jack Reed by name. I was out here driving. I'm running for Congress in Rhode Island. Here. This body camera footage captures Rhode Island congressional candidate Michael Neary on a rainy March night in Ohio, back in the state where he shares a home with his fiance after a two week campaign stint in Rhode Island, where he appeared right here on 12 News. So I am living here once again. But in the body camera video, Neary tells officers he stayed on his parents' couch while visiting the Ocean State and has not permanently relocated. Are you still live in Columbus? Yeah, I, I, I am down. We're we're in we're trying to find a place in Rhode Island. We can't find a uh, <laughs> an apartment. They want like two thousand dollars. The encounter with officers came after a man and a woman, unknown to Neary, called police to say he had been following them for sixty miles on the highway, turning or stopping whenever they did. I didn't mean to follow him or spook him. I don't. You know, I, I'm sorry. Neary said he was trying to clear his head, explaining to officers the stresses of campaigning. I'm running for office. You know, I'm a very serious person. It's a very serious job. And, and the kind of work that I am getting involved in out there, it's, it's police work. It is police work. Mm -hmm. Because it is, you know, a port event. And they, that kind of, that's weighing on me. Is, you know, I'm right. getting involved in the national security of the country, you know, in Ukraine right now. And yeah, if I just check your eyes real course, quick. Yeah. Usually this upbeat. Yeah, like, no, that's how, I mean, that's how you, that's how you win them over. Officers had Neary take multiple sobriety tests. One, one thousand. Two, one. Before ultimately deciding to place him under arrest. Neary has pleaded not guilty to the charges and said he is seeking both medical and mental health treatment. He said in a statement earlier this month he will remain in the race and will address questions about his arrest at a later date. He did not respond to our request for an interview tonight. In the studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.